Hello and welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we did look at the financial modeling. What is it and what are the objectives? What kind of various decisions do we make while we are doing the financial modeling? So in this video, we will be looking at the uh, important aspects of financial modeling. What do we need to take care when we are doing the financial modeling? So the very, very first step in the financial modeling is to understand what is your objective? What do you want to achieve? Because that will determine what kind of data input you need, what kind, what is the relationship between the output data and output decision and the input data that you have so that you can design the formulas, you can design the flow of the uh, calculations and also you can achieve the decisions that you want to make. So in, uh, in this step, what we do with the start uh, with the end in the mind and then we then then we think through how the solution will be achieved then the next thing is we need to make the data in between to collect the data inputs and make assumptions so all the variables that we need to do in the decision making which we identified in the first step we need to collect the data and then also we need to identify the assumptions we need to clearly and uh, clearly state all the assumptions that we are making so that we can separate what is fact and what is an assumption from uh, while we are evaluating our decisions and then also all the assumptions should be put in one place in one sheet in the excel file so that we can review them all at one time instead of going through the whole model one by one and you may not know what is the assumption what is the real data then after you have done the you have decided what kind of data is input uh, input requirement what are the assumptions then we do the symmetry in components i mean we are doing the calculations but while doing the calculations you need to make sure that the different different sheets in the model because sometimes the model can be uh, in, in multiple sheets in in one sheet but it's going to be very long model for example like three statements financial models financial statements which which we will look in the next video uh, so you need to have a symmetry in the component so that you can read them very easily uh, and you can copy paste and then you can link them uh, in an easier manner self auditing should also be designed to ensure the accuracy for example like auto sum for example like uh, uh, check sums so that you can make sure that all data is calculated properly then you have the automation and the no noodle link of formulas means that the all the formula should be linked if the com the formula is linked to a common cell they should go to the cell itself instead of uh, modeling instead of linking from one place then one place then one place then one place so the previous place is linked with the previous place then previous place is linked with the previous place so it shouldn't be looking like this and um, so that you can look at the cell in, in a more easier one more thing you can do is also name range the cells means you're going to define the names of the cells you are going to use or you're going to use them to links with some other cells so that you can identify instead of cell number you can identify what it is and what are you multiplying what are you dividing so we will look into those details in more uh, these things in more details when we are actually doing the financial modeling which will be our uh, upcoming course this that's it for this video in the next video will we we will i will take you through a couple of samples uh, for financial modeling stay tuned thank you